Art Basel Miami Beach is the most important stage in the country for contemporary art and a can't-miss date on the calendar of the international art world. Every December, thousands of galleries, artists, collectors, curators, and critics flood into Miami for a multi-day marathon of art and social overdrive. Miami Beach provides an ideal backdrop for the fair with its bevy of world-class collectors, architecture, art institutions, and nightlife. And the city's rise and reputation as a cultural capital owes itself in part to the wild success of the fair. With the recent economic pressure on the art market and on tourism, the bar has been set higher than ever for this year's event. In the next hour, we'll meet the major players who have put Art Basel Miami Beach on the map and helped solidify its reputation as one of the most important art fairs in the world. Art Basel Miami Beach is actually the much younger sister of Art Basel, held every June in Basel, Switzerland. Nestled in the northwest corner of Switzerland, the city of Basel emerged as an important trade and cultural hub in the 16th century and preserved its cultural heritage in the city's notable museums, academies, and private art collections. What is now considered the Olympics of the art world, the Art Basel Fair began in 1970 when a group of Swiss galleries organized a trade show in Basel. This fair exists in Basel because the community wanted it. The community, the dealers, the museum, and right from the very first fair, they had open arms and said, this is important. So they were very much like sort of jumble sales at the beginning. You know, we, none of us knew how to install or how to hang, so we would floor to ceiling pictures, uh, have pictures standing around on the floor. Oh, it's changed a lot. I believe I snuck into the first fair in 1981 uh, when security was not nearly as tight and uh, there were no rules to discriminate between VIPs. <laughs> it's a big difference between 1981 and, and, and today. It was completely different. <laughs> Slow, relaxed. It was about art and not about money. It was about... Uh, relationship and not uh, fights, it's, it's different. Despite nostalgia for simpler times, the last 40 years have seen Art Basel grow into the world's most prestigious art fair. New exhibition spaces like Art Unlimited and Art Statements were added to make room for young, emerging galleries and ambitious large-scale installations. But the big prize remains a spot in the main gallery section of the fair. As the number of galleries included each year reached its limit, being accepted to Basel became the ultimate mark of distinction for galleries worldwide. We have a situation where we have maybe 900 applicants and say 250 places or something, so it's very, very difficult. But that's why Art Basel is such a great fair. We have applied for several last two years, I think, three years, and uh, this is the first time we got accepted in the main section. It's a difference to be in this uh, gallery section because it's the best galleries of, the, um, of their individual disciplines. <sighs> Being involved in this fair is a very strange thing um, because you sort of feel that it's an honor to have been selected. Like, even though I'm the client, even though I am sent to bill, even though I pay to be here, it still somehow feels that you've won an award when you get this letter that tells you that you're going to be in the fair. Then it makes you terrified. I mean, there's some rules. Here you have to be sure to show uh, works you have not shown before. It has to be really great works. And, and in, in, in order to be able to do that, we kind of reserve works during the year. This is the best of the best, and there's a long way to the second. Uh, so it's, it's really important that we bring the best we have. With the most prized artwork from the world's top galleries exclusively available for sale at the fair, serious collectors flock to Basel in search of long sought after works and undiscovered gems. Collector Craig Robbins is a regular at the fair and one of Miami's most well-respected art patrons. His real estate development firm, DACRA, has served as the driving force behind Miami's design district. 
Robbins also co-founded the Design Miami and Design Miami Basel Fairs. I arrived in Paris on Thursday, Venice on Friday, Basel on Sunday, Zurich on Sunday, then Basel Sunday night. What's today? In Zurich, John Baldessari had his opening at May 36th, and the paintings were exquisite. In Venice, the best thing was the Vogue party. There was this girl wearing a Marc Jacobs dress that looked very artistic. Like other Jet Set collectors, Robbins arrived at Art Basel this year in June at the end of a whirlwind art tour, kicked off by the Venice Biennale. Here, there's something totally radical that I don't think John has ever done, and that is he designed some furniture. There is the ear sofa, and then there's the, uh, the nose vases. Where do you sit? What I love are these new works that John's doing. Uh, the ones with the eyebrows. I think they're really extraordinary. I don't know what you would call it. That's one of the things about Baldessari. Is it a painting? Is it a photograph? What is it? John is probably the artist that I've been most committed to as a collector, and I'm very seriously looking at this painting. I think with Baldessari, it's a question of which one. I've also bought a couple of works by Richard Tuttle so far. Where is... Ah, this way. Let's go this way. Yeah, it's this way. And if not, it's that way. There's a lot of work that I come to see. And then part of the charm of being here is that you get lost and thereby get to discover all of these new things that you may not have chanced upon. We found it. This piece is the rock star of the show. Murakami made the uh, actual display, the sculptural display, and Pharrell designed these incredibly beautiful objects inside. It's got I don't know how many diamonds. 26. This is 26, 26,000. This gentleman does not come with the work. I asked him yesterday, right? Rumor has it that it sold for a lot of money, like two million dollars. Beyond the razzle-dazzle of headline-making sales, artists and gallerists also view the fair as an opportunity to gain exposure and to network. It's really kind of a convention for all of our colleagues. It gives us a great chance to have a discourse, find out what trends are developing, where people are looking, and uh, what they're buying. Coming up, we'll see how this European phenomenon migrated to America and how Art Basel's sister fair, Art Basel Miami Beach, became a world-renowned art fair in its own right.